So here's the next part of that figure of that kind of series we're doing. The other one was the tool holder. This is going to be the cross drill fixture for drilling the uh, keychain hole. So we'll set this up at an angle. We're going to cut us a V. Well, we'll square the end. We'll cut us a V slot in here for our stick to kind of sit in. And we're going to drill some holes. They'll probably sit kind of off centered like that, just like that. And then we'll drill and tap with some quarter 20 holes. And then we'll give her a try and see. Well, this has to go in here too. This is the, this will be the end stop. We'll screw that on with some like 10 24s or something like that. All right, so let's go set that up in the mill and cut our cut our V in there. That was nice. Ah, good hands. There we go. Maybe I can hit the camera one more time. I don't think you can see from there. Let's take you for a ride over here. I think height-wise, that's going to get us pretty close to where we want to go. Is that a lot of glare? Can't tell how well you guys can see on that. Sure, we got a nice straight line across there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Shut this light off. See if we can see a little better. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that better or worse? Good question. Well, we'll leave it. You guys can complain if you can't see very well.
I think that's gonna get us there. Let's bump over and just clean up that surface down there. Just a couple thousand. I think that'll be enough. There, that's good. Let's move back over here. And take that off. Where'd our little test stick go? clamp. Uh oh, I'm about to lose the battery. Better hurry and check this and then we'll change the battery out. Yep, I think we're there. Alright, let me change the battery back and I'll bring you back up. Alright, there we are so far. Let's deburr this thing a little bit. There we go. That's how it'll go here. And then where did our little plant go? Just like that. A little more over like that. There we go. You see it? There we go. And then our drilling will happen over here. It's not a huge drill bit and I want it to be as close to the clamp as possible. There we go. Alright, so now we need to get our hole pattern drilled right here and tap our mounting screws. I think the way this thing's gonna sit we'll probably end up just doing, we'll try two screws first make sure and see if it fits, see if it is tight enough, which I think it will. It's not like it, we're putting 9,000 pounds on this thing. I think there's those two screws will do it. If not, we'll have to figure out something fancy because we ran out of real estate back here. All right, let's mark out our pattern. Actually, I guess you can just sit there and watch while I mark out this pattern. There we go.
There we go. Mathematical and everything. Let's go drill it. you know it my quarter 20 tap is the one I'm missing so I'll run over and get one but let's go ahead and, I'm gonna hand tap these anyway I'm not gonna power tap them so let's go ahead and deburr this or chamfer this one and we'll drill the other one and then I'll run over and get one and then I'll fly back and you won't even know I was gone That looks real nice. All right, let's move over here and drill the other one. Let's try this. Wait a minute. Which side did I use last time? I think it was that one. Let's try this side to see if it's. This side should be pretty square, so we're not gonna move our, our Y any. We're gonna leave it right there. Oops. We're also gonna shift back into high gear. There we go. How's that thing vibrating so much? Yeah. All I needed it to do anyway. That thing must be tweaked or something. I wonder what I tweaked it on. There we go. Got off the hard to drill there for a sec. I think I was out of travel on the quill. There we go. All right, let's run over to Riley's and grab us a tap.
And we're back. And we're back with our quarter 20 screws. That'll do it. Did I go as deep on this other one? Hope so. Will be plenty good. Let's put it on there and give it a try. And there it is. In the stop and all.